Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Maniacs. Sorry, it's been a long time. Was busy with the launch of that app, or rather the upgraded version of the app. Hope you guys are enjoying the new features that we have rolled out on the app as well as on the website. Because a lot of people have come back to us saying that this new search feature is really helpful, allowing them to focus on specific variants which they always had a challenge with. So as I always say, you ask, we deliver. So keep the comments and the feedback rolling in and we'll try to incorporate as much as we can. Oh well, coming back to this today's Sudoku. Oh yes, if in case you have not downloaded the app, the link to download is mentioned at the top of the description in this video. Do go ahead, try out the Android app because we have been receiving some really good reviews and ratings. So I can safely assume that people are really, really liking it and it's been a big help for them. So do go ahead, give it a try. So coming back to Sudokus. This Sudoku was hosted on our website two days back. That is the 17th of November. And this is a greater than Sudoku. So basically the rules are, the rules of classic Sudoku apply. That is no digit can repeat in a row, column or a three by three box. Additionally, instead of digits being given as a clue, you will find the less than and greater than symbols marked on the grid. Basically, these symbols show the relationship between the digits in the adjoining cell. So just like mathematically, you have the greater than sign. So this is pointing to this. So the relationship between these two is this cell will have a greater number than this. And also compared to the digit on the left in that specific box. All right. So we have to use these mathematical property of greater than and less than to solve the Sudoku. Now this was technically actually a very easy one if you ask me. The only problem comes up is that comes up rather is trying to identify how do we start off this because there is no digit that is given. So at times it can become a bit boggling and boggles you down. So I thought why not and yes, apart from me thinking about creating a video, I also received a couple of requests asking me to create a walkthrough. So I said why not since I was already planning on doing this. So without wasting much time, let's go ahead and start this. Now, the first thing I look for are the positions where the digit 9 or 1 can be placed. The reason I look at these two digits are because 9 is the greatest number that can be placed in a box, row or a cell, in a column. Similarly, 1 is the smallest number that can be placed in a row, column or a cell. And since I know 9 is the greatest, it can never be in a cell which has the less than sign pointed towards it. So these three cells that I see in row box 1 have this is less than this, this is less than this, this is less than this. So I know for sure 9 cannot be in this, right? Similarly, this cannot be a 9 because this less than this. This also cannot be a 9. Neither can these two be nines because these are always lesser than something else. So there are only two places where I can have a nine. So I start marking out the positions of nine. This is less, this is less, this is less, this is less, less, less. Okay, so the greater than will be here. This can be a nine. This not possible, not possible, not possible, not possible. And this will be a nine. All right. This is a 9, this is a 9, 9, 9, less, 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 so this can be a 9 and a 9. Okay, so we are getting multiple 9s. Don't get worried because there will always be a breakthrough. Alright, less, 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 greater, greater, less and less. So again, I have two places for a 9, less, less, less. Again, less, 
yes this is a 9 this can be a 9 so okay less 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 this is less less this is a greater less less right now i can't have a 9 in these right neither one now when i look at the last three columns there we get our breakthrough for boxes 6 and 9 the digit 9 is locked up in column 8 and 9 correct so if i look at column 7 there is only one place where the 9 can be placed and that helps us begin the puzzle so we can remove these two we can remove this 9 and this becomes a 9 which eliminates this so now again for row 5 i have a 9 here in here so the only place a 9 can be in row 5 is here which eliminates this this is a 9 Oops. 9 sorry this had to be removed all right and if for this box the 9 cannot be here can be here can be here because all these are less than something else can't be here here or here so the 9 is locked in these two which again eliminates the 9 so we get a 9 there that's a 9 that's a 9 9 and 9 so, and this way we have found out the position of all the 9s that are possible all right then I move on to the next largest number 8 which basically means 8 can be less than only the digit 9 or it will be greater than anything else. So similarly I start marking the positions of 8. 8 can be here because it's less than 9 but greater than the other digits. Alright these cannot be 8s. This cannot be an 8. This is an 8. This is an 8. This is an 8. Okay so within box 1 and 2 I see that 8 cannot be in row 2. So in box 3, 8 has to be in row 2, correct? This cannot be an 8 because I can't have another 9 here. This is not an 8. This becomes an 8 because if this is greater or, uh, oh yes, I also have another position, my bad. This cannot be an 8, this can be an 8. No, no, so this becomes my 8. Now when I look at this, this is a series of decreasing numbers because each is greater than the other. And this again, so 7 has, can be in any of these two, alright. But now we got 1, 8. So 8 cannot be here. It can be here, it can be here, it can be here, not here or here. And so again in box 3 and 6, the digit 8 is logged in columns 7 and 9 which means for box 9, 8 has to be in column 8. Now it can't be here, here, so this has to be an 8. Which means this is an 8, this is an 8, can't be here. Which would push the 8 here. This can't be an 8 because I require a bigger number there. Again, this can be an 8 because it would require another bigger number. So this becomes my 8, which pushes the 8 here right let's get rid of these 8 8 means we can get rid of this that's my 8 that's an 8 and that's an 8 so we have identified the 8s as well and this is where i know it appears a bit time consuming but when you start solving it regularly your speed improves and again i'm trying to explain everything so obviously my speed will be a bit slow as well so next highest it would be a 7, which would be in these three. The 7 can be here. This would be a 7 because all these are greater. So we can eliminate 7. These two can be a 7. This can be a 7. This can be a 7. And here I can have a 7 which is less than 8 and 9 but greater than the others. Fine. This can be a 7. And the next 7. This is a seven, 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 seven and seven here. This can be a seven, this can be a seven, this again can be a seven. Not much breakthroughs happening here, 
you know, we go like this, or it can be here again. Hmm. Perfect. And here, this can be a seven, this can be a seven, this can be a seven. Now, if you notice, in none of the cells, we found out anything concrete. But again, looking at box seven and eight, the sevens are logged in row seven and row nine. So if I look at row eight, there's only one place where the seven can be and which is here, correct? So we can safely start placing the other sevens. This will not be a seven. This is a seven. This is eliminated. This is eliminated. This goes out. This goes out. Seven, seven, seven. 7 and 7 and you see we have found our <coughs> sevens as well all right now if you notice we were talking about the central box this has to be an 8 cell of 8 which basically means now we have got the 9 8 and 7 so 6 has to be the greatest number which would be only here right because all these have to be less than 6 and so is this one so we get a 6 directly 6 cannot be here, this will be a 6, so this will be a 6, this can be a 6, less than 7, but greater than others, which again places the 6, okay, multiple places, these can be 6, 6 can be here, and here, alright, so which means for box 1 and 2, the 6 is logged up in row 2 and 3, so in box 3, the 6 has to be in row 1. This can be a 6, this can be a 6, okay, again, oh, sorry, let's get rid of this, we got this 6 here, and because of the 6 getting logged here, this will not be a 6, which makes this a 6, alright, 6, 6 has to be in these two, this can't be a 6, because I can't have any other digit between the 7 and the 6, so this is my 6, 6, by classic rules has to be here which makes this a 6 and this becomes our 6 which again now that we have got multiple positions for a 6 right now I shift my focus whenever I reach this stage where a larger number is stuck up in two cells in two rows or columns, right? I'm basically in an interchangeable position. I let them be there and then I move to the lower digits and then I start off with the one because one has to be the least. It can never be greater than anything. So I start identifying the places for one. This has a greater, greater, greater. So the one is here. This can't be a one. Seven is greater than this, greater, greater. So this becomes a one and a one, all right? Because this is this has to be a greater number. So with the one gone here, this has to be a one, which by classic rules brings a one here. One go here, so this is a one, this is a one. One cannot be here, one can't be here because this is greater. This also is greater than this, so one can't be here. So this becomes a one, one, one. This becomes a one by classic rules because this number is greater than the one in column eight. So I can't have a one here. This becomes a 1 and a 1 and if you notice we have finished off with all the digit 1s which brings us to digit 2. I know it's a tedious process but I love it, this and this is greater so this is a 2. Now with 3, 4 and 5 left this number is smaller than these two so I can also blindly place the 3 here and this becomes a 2 with a 2 here. Correct. Again, these two. Now there are only three cells remaining. These two are greater than this, so this has to be a three. This becomes a three because I can't have a three here because one and two are there, right? So now we simply start. If this is a two and three, this means this is four and a five. Five has to be greater than a four. And with two, three, six left in this box this number has to be greater than the 4 so this has to be a 6 which makes this a 6 right so we have identified the 6s that this is a 2 3 but when i look at this central box 
This can't be a 2 because this has to be a lesser number. We already have the 1 in the row. This again can't be a 2. So this can be a 2 or a here. So with the 2 getting logged in row 5, I know for sure this is a 3 and a 2. By classic rules, 3 cannot be here, 3 cannot be here. This is my 3 and which forces the 2 here because 2 has to be less than 3, right? So we get rid of it. 2 and 3 is a here. 2 has to be here. So this will be a 2, the smallest number. It can't be here. Which pushes the 2 here. 2, 2. This is not 2. This is a 2. This is a 2. 3. Right? 3, 3. This can't be a 3. That's 3, 3, and 3. And now if you notice, we are just missing out the digits 4 and 5. And using these two, 4, 5, 4, 5. 5 and 4, 5 and 4, 4 and 5, and 5 and 4, 4, 5, 4, 5. And yes, sir, the system says we are at the correct solution. So the start is always a bit tricky and tedious, but once you start getting in a few numbers, the greater than Sudoku turns out very, very easy. As I said, this puzzle was not a difficult puzzle at all. Because one by one, we started putting in all the digits. We finished off the nines first, the eights, and then the sevens. And then we moved on to the one, twos, and threes. And with that, we were able to wrap it up pretty quickly. As I said, this puzzle was not difficult. But I think this was a good example to showcase how to approach the greater than Sudoku, which is also called the inequality Sudoku, by the way. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. Do keep the feedback coming in. As I said, you observe anything, you notice anything, or you want a new feature in the app or the website, don't hesitate to let us know. And we'll be more than happy to incorporate that if you find that's feasible and that can be done. So, Hopefully, I'll see you soon sometime. Until the next time, <laughs> you know it. Happy solving.